Hey guys, and welcome back to my den. Today I have a box I've really been looking forward to. It is from shapeways.com, and they do the printing of the little parts I like to use. I print them here to prototype them, but Shapeways do the printing and fulfillment of orders. So I always order, I always order a copy of the each before I let anybody else order them because I want to make sure this works. See, my original print here was made out of a material that can be broken. However, the Shapeway ones is strong and flexible and is virtually unbreakable. So this is the one we're going to test. I also got a couple of other parts. I got a white and a black Merbius lens hood. Let me use the white one just because it's easier to see on the video. This is what it looks like. And just like that. And here's how it works. You push it together a little bit, that spreads out the ring. And then you can push it right onto your Merbius, just like that. And now, if you crash, it's gonna keep whatever you crashed into from nailing into your Merbius lens. This sticking out a little bit also gives you just enough shadow that you don't get as much flickering from the propellers or lens glare while you're flying. So it keeps your image nicer and it keeps your lens from being destroyed. So that is the push in the middle here. Just push it down a little bit and squeeze it on and you're ready to fly. It's pretty tight shot, so make sure it is on straight. That is what it looks like. Of course, I always tend to buy my parts in either red or black because they look cool. I like the red part because everybody can enjoy how cool they are. So let's put this down and move on to the Stella mount. This is what I really want to show you today. I think we're done with this box. So here you go. That is the Stella mount from Shapeways. As I said, this is strong and flexible and it's strong you're not going to destroy this thing. That is made to fit on the two fairly common quadcopters. It can fit onto the Phantom right here. And this is actually the other end forward. This is the end forward. And you will see, we tested that about a week ago. There's plenty of room for the door to open. So I'm not going to show it on this one today, just because I haven't flown. Ah. I've not flown my Valkyra for a long time. So here's the Valkyra today. That's a 350, QR350, I think it's called. With me, to mount it, we have two M3 by eight millimeter screws. They go in here. And anybody that knows me knows that I usually use and prefer the red tape. This stuff here from 3M that's what I would mount it with for my own use. I would simply cut two four centimeter long strips, cut it, or cut a four centimeter, five centimeter long strip, and cut it down the middle, and put a piece on each of these two parts here, and stick it right on. It will not go anywhere, simply because the strip is, has much more strength than the weight of this gimbal with a GoPro will ever get close to. So I'm tightening these on as far as I can get using my fingers. There you go. You can see the two screws holding it in place. And with that, let's get a Allen wrench here. That one is tight. Oh, that one wasn't close. And that is tight. So there it is. That is installed and as I mentioned before, remember, both the Phantom and the Valkyra has adequate space to install. I made this one small enough that you can actually install it directly onto this without additional legs. It's tight, but it will fly. And I should bring up, I talked to one of my friends up in Alaska, I believe. Email, you never know where people are from, but I think David is in Alaska. I talked to him the, yesterday about the blade. Looking at some pictures, this will also mount under a blade. If you are flying a blade with regular landing gear, you need to go buy a pool noodle, cut it a long way, and wrap it around the landing skids, and there's plenty of space. Or you can buy for like $15, 
the tall landing gear for the Blade 350 QR, and that will allow you, it will have plenty of room for the Stellar Gimbal. But even the stock one can work if you put a pool noodle on each of the two landing skids. So that would be my way to suggest to do use this if you stick this gimbal on a blade. Anyway, here it is. It's on here now. And I already prepared the gimbal. Notice that it already has all the little rubber dampers on. This, these dampers, by the way, is the same size as the Tarot ones, but they are much softer. So don't interchange them with the tarot ones. Simply order a couple of spares of these right away because you are likely to lose some if you crash. To get them on, I put them on here first because I need to be able to see them. And I'm gonna fast forward because this is gonna be a noodle job. So the part of the design here is to be wide enough that I can get all of these in. Bend it a little bit and there it is and now like I said, this is going to be a noodle job, so hold on for a minute. I kind of squeeze it and I stick it through the hole. That was one. I squeeze it so it gets a little thing coming through. And then I just kind of massage this thing. Now it's all the way through. Now we need this one here. You'll be surprised to hear this, but I have done this before. There you go. And we'll turn this around one more time. And squeeze it. See, so you can kind of see what's going on here. I'm just squeezing it and I'm getting hold of a little part of it. And as soon as I have that little part, then I just kind of keep massaging it. There, now it is all the way through and the gimbal is installed and we have the power cord right here. I'm gonna connect the power cord to the JST cable that comes out of the Valkyra here. And that needs to go red to red. That is hooked up. And you always wanna make sure that the power cord doesn't pull on anything because if that pulls on anything or touches the gimbal mount, then obviously it is gonna interfere with the movement of the gimbal. Camera. There we go. And as you know, this one then comes in right here, like that. I really like the soft dampers in this. And there you have it. And the beautiful thing is, when mounted, there is about five millimeter of clearance under the bottom. It isn't a lot, but hey, a lot is not what we need. We just need this to clear so that when we fire it up, it will be ready to go. I have a little battery. I usually use a small tree cell battery in here for testing stuff. And just wait a second for this to fire up. And there it is. Put the battery inside the cord. Uh, can I do that now? And close the door. There it is. And we have installed a Stella gimbal on the Valkyra. That's good. So we're ready. And I'm just going to take this outside. It's supposed to rain today. So I'm going to go out and get a quick flight in before it starts raining. More to follow.